You know, we have an, another great summit. We have great speakers, great scientists, and these people's uh, researchers spend hours, weeks, years of their life at the basic science level in the lab. And I think most of them, if you would interview most of them or talk to them, their real dream is to have an impact clinically. And that's why we talk about clinical translation. And then, you know, you say, oh, well, that's one of your issues. Well, maybe I'll put more effort on that part of my project and we'll have an answer for you maybe the next meeting. And then you can start thinking about using it uh, clinically. So. I think it's so important to understand that all the efforts that are being made here is to solve uh, medical issues. And uh, we're in the space of sports medicine, regenerative medicine, uh, aging better. As we age, as, we, as you know, we have problems with our muscles, with our joints, um, and you know, other, other problems, uh, cognitive dysfunction like Alzheimer's. So I think, um, Understanding the key questions better, combining the bench scientists and the clinician is the best way to go. And collaboration, as you can see here, we have great minds from Northwestern, from Mayo, from Wisconsin, from Vail. Uh, so, so having all of us in the same room and having this discussion and presenting our work will hopefully lead to solution to these clinical problems that we see and. Therefore, the importance of clinical translation, because at the end of the day, we want all of us want to age better. Uh, if we get injured, we want to heal faster to return to our active lifestyle. So, I really think that all these tremendous uh, scientists um, have a focused goal of understanding better how their work will impact us clinically. Will help them maybe uh, provide answer to this question faster and important question faster that have a clinical implication. Yeah.